And the starter, Mr. Bob Moran, calls the three-year-old and older males, uh, mare trotters to the gate for today's first race at Pocono. First half, the early daily double. The three-year-old and older mares trot final for the Breeders' Crown, carrying a purse of $250,000. And around the turn, they go. The trotters have reached the back stretch. And they are underway to open up the Breeders' Crown here, and it's a quick start for Autumn Escapade. She steps out there by about a neck. On the inside, Yursa Hanover is away well. She finds the pocket while Buckeye St. Pat manages a tuck there third past the eighth mile marker. Next up is Windsong Soprano, single file back to Elusive Desire. Then it's Southwind Wasabi trotting sixth at the end of the field, Jersey AS. Autumn Escapade takes this field around the turn of the quarter in 27 and two fifths, and now Buckeye St. Pat makes her move on the outside for Tim Tietrich. Goes after the lead of Autumn Escapade who tries to string her out. And Buckeye St. Pat manages to clear at the 3 8 pole. Autumn Escapade now back in the pocket. And now it's Ron Pierce making a first over move for Winsong Soprano around that clubhouse turn. Inside fourth there, Yursa Hanover. Following cover, Elusive Desire. At the back, Southwind Wasabi and Jersey AS. They get to the half in 55 and 1. 27 and 4. Second panel, scalding pace here up on the front end. Buckeye St. Pat has the lead by a length. On the outside, Windsong Soprano still hasn't been able to take over second. Holding onto the pocket there is Autumn Escapade. Yursa Hanover is fourth, only two lengths back, but she's buried on the inside. Second over, fifth now is Elusive Desire. At the back, there are Southwind Wasabi and Jersey AS. Buckeye St. Pat unchallenged on the back. Three quarters, 124 even. 28 and four on the back. Side. Up front, Buckeye St. Pat, the defending champ here, leads it by a length. Autumn Escapade still working there in the pocket. Yursa Hanover is third at the top of the stretch. Now, Teacher asks for more, and Buckeye St. Pat is responding. All out there, Autumn Escapade, but Buckeye St. Pat is trotting away. A mesmerizing performance by Buckeye St. Pat. She wins it by two full lengths and defends her crown. Autumn Escapade second, Yursa Hanover third, Buckeye St. Pat 152 and three fifths. That's a way to start things off. How about that Buckeye St. Pat defending her championship and looking awfully good coming down the lane. Took the move after the opening quarter. Tim Tietrich wanted the front end, put the champion on the front end, and she delivers here this afternoon looking awfully good. Buckeye St. Pat defends her crown, Roger. How about that one? Make no doubt about it. Uh, 52 and 3, a, a fast one, but uh, not quite fast enough to get into the record brooks uh, here at uh, uh, Pocono, at least. Uh, track record's 52 and 1. But it will be, a, it will be a new trotting record, though, for the mayor, uh, Breeders' Crown record. Like you there. said, almost every race tonight <laughs> should be a, a record for the Breeders' Crown. And, and how about the great Peace Corps, who won four Breeders' Crown mm -hmm. events, had the, track re well, mm -hmm. had the Breeders' Crown record, 154-2 mm -hmm. over a 5-8 mile track, and now that's broken tonight, today by Buckeye St. Pat. Buckeye St. Pat and Tim Tietrich. Ladies and gentlemen, judges have posted the unofficial order of finish for this afternoon's first race. Number seven, Buckeye St. Pat finished first. Number five, Autumn Escapade finished second. Number three, Yursa Hanover finished third. Number four, Southwind Wasabi finished fourth. Unofficially, seven, five, four, uh, seven, five, three, four, excuse me, in race number one.
presenting the trophy for this first race. Bobby Soper, our president and CEO here at Mohegan Sun at Pocono Downs, along with John Cashman, the chairman of the executive committee, committee for the Hamiltonian Society. And they'll be presenting the trophy to the seven Buckeye St. Pat. She is a seven-year-old bay mare by Jailhouse Jesse out of Name It Something by Speed in Action, bred by R.R. R. Fuller of Ohio, owned by Howard Taylor, Penn Valley, Pennsylvania, Earl Gold of Phoenixville, Pennsylvania, Abraham Bazin of Las Vegas, Nevada, and Fuller of Newark, Ohio. Ron Burke, the trainer. Tim Tietrick does the driving. He was aboard for Buckeye St. Pat's win last year in this very same class. And Buckeye St. Pat repeats as the champion on the front end with a huge mile. It is her seventh win in 17 this year, 47th lifetime victory in 90 starts. How about that record? And the career earnings going up over $1.9 million now. She wins today in a time of 152 and three-fifths. Once again, defending her crown, the three-year-old and older mares on the trot, the seven, Buckeye St. Pat. We have the rundown now for this afternoon's first race. Uh, those results are official, and the rundown reads, number one, Win Song Soprano finished fifth. Two Elusive Desire was sixth. Number three, Ursa Hanover finished third. Four Southwind Wasabi was fourth. Five Autumn Escapade finished second. Six Jersey AS was seventh. Number seven, Buckeye St. Pat, the race winner. From the top down, it reads five, six, three, four, two, seven, one. Again, the race winner, the seven, Buckeye St. Pat, in a time of 152 and three-fifths. My partner Sam McKee will be taking you through the second race, which comes up approximately 16 minutes from now. That is the three-year-old and open trot with a purse of $600,000. There are no changes in race two. Again, about 16 minutes till post time. Buckeye St. Pat has done it. Here are the connections. We'll start with Tim Tietrick. Tim, last start, got left outside, never got the lead. You're intent on changing your strategy tonight. Well, I did last week. You know, it was such a front-end bias here at Delaware, and she uh, she raced her heart out. Just got beat. Uh, you know, I give a lot of credit to the Miller's mare, Autumn Escapade. She raced great to beat her, and can't take nothing away from her. She has. She beat her fair and square last week. Two million dollars for a career. Ever better than right now? Uh, she's just a pr privilege to drive, man. I feel really honored to get to drive her, and she bounces back every time. She's old, but man, she tries her guts out. We're gonna see you back here tonight for some more crowns. I sure hope so. Okay, Tim Tietrich, Howard Taylor. You told me. Buckeye St. Pat will tell you when she's done racing. Is she still racing? You're going to be back for another year. What's up with that? She hasn't said anything different yet. She's pretty much the sound as she's ever been. And Ronnie's done a great job. Timmy's done a great job. Uh, Alex, the groom. So she, we hope to see her back here next year. Okay, it's been a fun ride. Ron Burke, nine in the Breeders' Crown tonight. Uh, Buckeye St. Pat, nice way to start. Yeah, at least, you know, we're in Cordo for nine. So, you know, it's a good way to get started. And uh, hopefully the night will just keep getting better. Is Buckeye St. Pat going to be racing another year, you think? Yeah, for sure. Like, I was the one that kind of was like, Howard, you better prepare yourself. This could be all this year. You know, and she's even came back and surprised me. She's stronger. She's bigger. She's better. So, you know, I don't really now know if I will predict when she will quit. Who's your best one or two shots from here on out in the crown tonight? Um, I would say probably the combination of West and Foiled in the age paced, even though Shark gestured. But they're both very sharp. And, uh... And I like uh, Rock and Soul. I think Rock and Soul has a shot. Uh, she was very good last week. She liked this track. Okay, Ron Burke, congratulations. Good start tonight. He's got nine in Howard Taylor. Nice job. Tim Tietrick, you've done it. First crown, Buckeye St. Pat, the newest double millionaire. 